Hello, everybody. This is the Catholic Esquire. Happy Ascension Thursday. And yes, if you attend a Novus Ordo Parish in the United States, chances are you will not have an opportunity for Mass today on Ascension Thursday, the Ascension Thursday Mass anyway. That's been transferred to Sunday. Um, this is the world we live in post-Vatican II under the regime and oppression of modernism where you can just change the dates of holy days because it's because you can. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk today about religious vocations, specifically women's religious vocations. The only reason this came to mind was because I was watching Anthony Stein video today where he talked about a certain nun in Missouri, I believe, who supported the Moloch ritual. I'll use the word Mr. Stein uses to please our our, sir, our hosting services. Um, and I got to thinking about that issue. What is it? What has happened to women's religious vocations after the Second Vatican Council? And is there any connection between the Second Vatican Council and not just the, the decline in the quantity of religious vocations? I think everybody agrees and understands that's a reality. People just don't want to join religious life anymore. Uh, but the qua the quality of it, right? Because anybody knows about, especially in the world of women's vocations, the, the, the typical standard Catholic nun, right? That's gone. That's been destroyed almost entirely, with the exception of a few traditional bastions of tradition left. A few. Other than those, it's gone. And what's left is this, this perverted, distorted notion of women's religious orders. An example of this is going to be the Sisters of Loretto. If you know anything about the Sisters of Loretto, they're founded in Kentucky, and they sent nuns out west in the 1800s to evangelize and also to set up schools to educate children in the Catholic faith. The Sisters Loretto is one of the most liberal, progressive, anti-Catholic religious orders of women in the entire country now. And I happen to know about this because I went to a Sisters of Loretto school for 10 years in the 80s and into the 90s. I'm no expert on women's religious vocations, but I do know a lot about modernism. I do know a lot about the Second Vatican Council, and I have experience with modernist women's religious orders. And when I was there, we didn't have any religious education at all. It was completely secular. The few nuns that were there did not wear habits. They wore pantsuits. And they talked about Democrat political issues and supported that. They talked about equality and justice and all of these things that have no connection to real Catholicism. How is this a consequence of the Second Vatican Council? And this is what I wanted to explain to you today and why this topic is so important. And for all those people out there, those conservative Catholics who just want to poo-poo the Second Vatican Council and what it did to the church and pretend and lie to you, like there was nothing that happened at the council that could possibly lead to the absolute chaos and disgusting hatred of the faith that exists among clergy and in the religious life today. And I'm talking about the real faith, not this fake faith. And they want to pretend like the Second Vatican Council had nothing to do with that. Shame on them. Shame on them. And I'll challenge any of those people to talk about this. Because what the Second Vatican Council did was it took two of the most, the most important commandments that Christ gave us, love God and love thy neighbor, and turn them around, reverse the order. It's maybe not obvious to everybody, but that's exactly what it did. You know, the, the documents themselves didn't say, we want to destroy all religious orders. We want to tell women to throw away their habits and become pantsuit we wearing lesbian nuns. They didn't say that, obviously. But the, what they did do is make certain little changes in the way the faith is taught and, and, and preached 
and in the substance of the faith itself to the point that it creates a religious ecology out of which out of which activists use the church in order to in order to uh, 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 push an agenda that has nothing to do with the faith but is a man-based oftentimes evil agenda throughout the world so what the Second Vatican Council did is it, re it reversed the order of importance. It raised man above God. Whereas we, used, as Catholics, we know we have to serve the poor. We know we have to do good works. But we do those things in order ultimately to serve God because we love our neighbor and because we love God, most importantly. That's why we do these things, because that's what we're called to do. In this new perverted, chaotic world of this post-Second Vatican Council, what happens is, is people use the church in order to worship their idol, mankind, man, humanity. The material world is now the idol, and they use the, rather than, they work for the church in order to serve man, rather than the other way around, which was always what the Catholic Church has taught, tradition. I, if you go back and watch my video on Second Vatican Council errors, religious freedom, that's a perfect example of that, because the Second Vatican Council gives a certain dignity to man that he does not otherwise deserve, to the point that the the council said man has a natural right to believe in false gods, a natural right to believe in the in a false god. That's what it teaches. Do you see? That's a perfect example. Right, because it raises the importance of man above God. There, the identity of God isn't as important as it is important for man to maintain his right to freedom to believe whatever he wants. Well, this attitude, this notion, this ecology filters out into the world, and that's from and that world is then where these vocations, people who think they have a religious vocation, that that gets. That gets watered, it gets fertilized, and it grows into the situation where we have women who object to any type of hierarchy. Uh, they reject their their particular role that God gave them as women, and they try to become men. They reject teachings of the church, such as on the Moloch ritual. This is what we end up with. And so this is this is why we have to talk about the Second Vatican Council because the fruit of it we can see is absolute poison in religious uh, women's vocational situation, not just in this country but throughout the world, is a perfect prime example of this, a concrete reality of the chaos and the destruction we are facing because of what this council did. I hope this video helps. Um, please like the video, um, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Happy Ascension Thursday, and God bless.